you are 40 years old and you have loved hanging out in the club. You have club clothes, you have club cologne, you have club shoes, you have dedicated a significant part of your life getting ready for that club life. How is that working out for you right now during the Rona? Club opening, club closing. The Rona has experienced, well, exposed many things. And the Rona has exposed the lives because dating during the Rona has changed. Like, uh, I meant to do this on Disruptive Mail, but I didn't get around to it, but I'll do it here. If you had a rotation that was up and running, you were good. But if you were trying to start a rotation or replace members of your rotation, it got a little dicey. It got a little, little problematic. And the Rona has changed dating habits across the board. The Rona has changed interactions. And if you are a man that has been building club life, club clothes, you even bought your car to look good outside the club, the last few months have been pretty problematic because you can't go to the club. You can't pop bottles. And I know that it's the summertime and you're ready to get out and put your club shoes on and go to the club and meet out and be, you know, elbow to elbow in the club, you know, because you, you live for that. But I have a question for you. Where is your legacy? Because see, here's something that's going to happen. And it, I knew it was coming from me. One of my gifts is I've never looked my age. Even when I was a kid, people thought I was way younger than I was. And that has been a gift. And that has allowed me to play the game as long as I have. But I knew at some point the game was going to end. I am 53 years old. In seven years, I'm going to be 60. I'm going to be 60. And over the last eight or nine years, I've been slowing my roll. Because I know one day I'm going to wake up and I'm gonna be like, look in the mirror and be like, there's going to be a 60 year old face looking back at me. And you know what, <clears throat> what, what I plan on having? I plan on having a family. But see, you know, we're going to talk about that. Uh, having children, having a legacy, having a life. Now, here's the thing. If you were that 40 year old club dude and you have not begun changing your habits, you're going to be that 60 year old dude looking in the mirror living in a house with a dog or a cat because I, I, i'm here to say because one of the things is i knew that it was coming for me i grew up in the south i grew up hanging around a lot of elderly people and this is the stages of life you you're young you're full of energy vitality you're doing your thing and as you go through life you get older and I knew it was coming for me, so I started preparing because on this channel, I put out that I've had girlfriends, I've been in relationships. I have not been the dude I was in 2011. 2011, I was ha <laughs> ha buck wild. I was having myself a good time. I had my young looks, I had plenty of money, I had plenty of options, I had plenty of fun, and also, this is something else that happened in 2011. I found my limit. Most men never find their pussy limit. I found my limit. I was like, whoa, man, I can't, I can't keep this up. It's wearing me out. This is, um, this is too much. This is, I can't handle this. I mean, I went to my limit, so I know what it is to get to your pussy limit, to get to your hanging out limit, to the point where it can start to be empty. But if you're that 40 year old club dude who's been going to the club and you have 
see habits. This is one of the reasons that I have a, a, a living girlfriend. I knew that if I had stayed single and wasn't living with anyone, it was going to be so hard for me to share space with anyone. You want to know why? Because I would have been in the habit of doing it my way, living my way. And one of the things that is starting to happen, one of the things that has happened with the Rona is many people got exposed. Many people are not building anything. They're just out here living and having fun. So what happened when you had the Rona come in here and take away your club life? What were you doing? What were you working on? What were you establishing? Because see, the Rona ain't going nowhere. The Rona is going to be with us probably for a good 18 to 20 months. It's going to be a rolling, you know, we, we, we will deal with it. We're American. We, we will deal with it. We will figure out a way to fight it. And there will someday be a vaccine and people will take it. But one of the things that is happening is many people's lifestyles are being exposed. And this is going to produce a change. Why is this going to produce a change? Because people are in pain. See, pain produces change. Pain creates and facilitates change. When I was in my situation, when I was in that boarding house, I was in a lot of pain. I was in a lot of pain. And that prompted me to seek solutions to eliminate my pain. Because see, when you're hurting, when you have pain and this stuff is going on, you will do anything, you will pay anything to stop the pain. This is why people become alcoholics. This is why people get hooked on drugs because of pain, because they want to eliminate the pain. So if you are one of those dudes who's all about that club life, let me tell you what's about to happen. That club life is about to change up on you because what has the Rona done? The Rona has produced a lot of pain across the board. It has produced economic pain, financial pain, physical pain. It has displaced people. People are about to get evicted. So folks have changed a little bit. Folks have changed. And this, you know, it's, it's, it's not going to be acceptable because like I know my MIG toe and red pill men are about to lose it. Being an old man by yourself, and there, there are some people who are built for that. There are some people who like the company of themselves. But I find it real funny because there's a dude here on YouTube who calls himself the Red Pill Coach. He's married with children, but he's the Red Pill Coach. Cracks me up. But one of the things that man wasn't meant to be alone, man wasn't built to be alone, and what's going to happen is... At 40, it ain't too late for you to change your ways. But if you continue on, because like what, what happened to you without the club, without the meetups, without the excitement, without the gas and the juice and the drinks and stuff, what happened? Life lost its meaning for you. You were just sitting around about to lose it. You were just sitting there like, I'm about to go crazy. I'm about to leave my mind. See, this is why men were designed to be builders and creators. And once you start living in your truth and start living in your design, your life will be much better. Your life will be categorically much better. You, you will be happier. You will be more fulfilled. But as long as you that club dude, I'll tell you a story. I had a friend. Well, he still is a friend. I'm not going to mention his name because he may watch this. But, you know, he used to be a strip club lover and he made good money. I mean, he was making like, you know, ten, twelve thousand dollars a month before, you know, ten, twelve thousand dollars a month became a thing. And uh, he would go to the club and he would go to the ATM and he would pull out the limit because, you know, the, I think the ATMs and the strip clubs are juiced a little bit differently. Cause you know, he's like, Hey, go to the ATM and get a thousand bucks. 
boom. And I saw this change in him because, you know, he was for the strip club. You know, he was a good dude, hardworking dude. Um, one of the things that he would do was, you know, go to the strip club, get a drink, get toasted. And this dude now is married. I saw this change because he went through some problems and some situations and it was just like, he just stopped going to the strip club. And he was about 55, no, 48, 47 when this change happened. And he found him a woman, he got married, and he's, you know, he's been married to like seven, eight, nine, ten 10 years, something like that now. And what's gonna happen is, as you go through the changes of life, what was attractive to you at 20 and 30, it won't be attracted to you at 40 and 50 and 60. It just won't. You know, it's gonna be very, very different. You're gonna be looking for more fulfillment because, you know, Erica Williams, you know, she, she gets a good kick out of this, but the number of men who are marrying women with children, they're marrying her because she has the children because they have an instant family. Th these men are lonely. They're like, oh man, she got kids, that's cool. I get to be a stepdad, yeah, I get to be a stepdad. So these guys are purposely marrying these women with children and having more children because they want families. They want that family love. They want that energy, that family love. There's this guy here on YouTube who does these videos where he's like 51 and he, he does these dance videos with his daughter that's what they're looking for. They're looking for those kind of connections that you cannot get in the club. They're looking for those kind of connections that you cannot get being out there. They're looking for those earthy, sentimental, romantic, more fulfilling connections. And unless you are a borderline psychopath, this will happen to you. Because I'm like, right now, MGTOW, Red Pill Men, there are some of you who are watching this who are going, oh, nah, Glendon, nah, man, nah, man, I ain't gonna do it. Some of you guys are gonna be marrying single moms, you're gonna be having kids with her, and you're gonna be happy, and then you're going to turn your back on all of your MGTOW and red pill fence, men, friends, because y'all won't have nothing in common. You ever notice how married people don't hang out with single people? There's a reason, you don't have anything in common. Married people have a certain life Married people have certain things going on in their life that single people don't. And this is why the friendships frequently break apart. And this is why people create new friend circles. Because I'm here to tell you, what's about to happen is crazy with a lot of you dudes. And it's going to be interesting how you handle this big change. Because the Rona has exposed so much one of the things that you've got to start doing is start building something. And fortunately, right now in this digital age, you can build something. The older you are, you can put something together, you can slide something together, you can slap something together and start building. Because if you don't build anything and you don't get into a fulfilling relationship, like homelessness, one of the number one reason that these people are homeless is they don't have family. Number one reason, they don't have a son, a daughter, they don't have a mom, they have nobody. It's just them and life. And this is where they end up, on the streets. So hopefully this message found you well. Hopefully you are not that 40 year old dude up in the club about that club life because there, there's this pimp, there's this former pimp here on YouTube, it's called Andre, glorious, gorgeous Dre, Google, 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 glorious Dre. This dude is married. He has children. He used to be a pimp. So even it impacts pimp. Go ahead and Google gorgeous Dre. Because uh, he, he, he looks kind of like a devil. <laughs> you know, he's got that look about him. So go ahead, get 30 days to 2,500. Go ahead, get the Hustler's Mindset, pimp your, your, your mind for success. And I will see you guys on the other side.